hope? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Marilyn, and it is the noon edition of Welcome to My World. This is February the 18th, which is a Thursday, and it's a couple minutes after 12 noon. So we've had lots of uh, lots of movement in the markets this morning, and then some periods of time where um, I don't know they seem to have painted everything with very thick paint. Anyway, this morning the um, indices have all trended down, but there's certainly been a lot of chop in there. The big moves have been in gold and bonds. For those of you who trade uh, the dollar or who are watching it, this is a pretty incredibly choppy day. It chopped up and chopped down and did it over and over and over again. Um, let's see. We had inventory today on crude oil at 11 because of the Monday holiday. It, Normally, we have it at 10.30 on Wednesdays, but when Monday is a holiday, they move it to 11 because um, natural gas inventory holds the 10.30 slot on Thursdays. So, let's see. Um, the trend this morning in bonds was really, really, really nice. And gold just took off. Um, for those of you who have never looked at gold, I know um, Daryl highly recommends taking a look at the spreads on Nadex on gold because they are um, they're very close to the underlying. So today would have been a great day to do that. We've got the VIX um, coming down a little bit. It's trading 21.63. So maybe these indices are going to hold. They made three days worth of gains, the first three day gain sessions this year. And so all the talking heads are, you know, blah, 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 blah about that. And that's about all that is, too. So um, we had a lot of good questions in this chat this morning from from some of the newer people that um, somebody was asking about taking um, I think ES a trade this morning um, Alex the bonds that I'm referring to I I prefer personally and that's a personal preference ZB but ZN um, is an excellent product and it's highly liquid. This is the big thing you want to look for. If you're if you're looking for something to trade, just be darn sure that there's a lot of liquidity in it because if there's not a lot of liquidity, um you're going to have a difficult time getting in and out. And then the reverse of that is true, which is one of the big reasons I don't trade uh ES futures is because the liquidity is huge and I don't I'm not going to trade 125 contracts thank you very much I'm going to trade one or two and that puts me at the back of the line and the line can be I don't know 2500 or 3000 contracts in front of me so I may or may not get filled before the bus driver decides to leave. And sometimes you can get filled in ES at getting out of it when you want out, uh, particularly in case you were wrong and you're trying to uh, protect yourself. Um, doesn't generally work real well. So there's a sweet spot in the liquidity of the markets. You don't it's kind of like uh i guess the soup being too too hot or too cold you want it just right but there's a nice window in almost everything uh that we trade 
some of the questions this morning, somebody was asking if they should take uh, something or rather a long position in a particular market. We weren't too sure what market nor what strategy. So when you ask a question, try to be as clear as you can. Somebody will be happy to help you if we know what you're talking about. Try to let us know what market you're trading and what strategy. Are you doing the um, the IZSS or are you doing Lori C's trades or, you know, what? And the very best thing is to take a screenshot. So um, I'm going to try every day and and mark the trades. I used to mark the trades on this. Um, here, let me close this thing. Um, I used to mark the trades on this crude oil chart every day, but I found that it was locking up my Ninja, and I couldn't... Um, if I had other trade on, I couldn't adjust the, the stop or uh, take profit or do something if I got filled while I was trying to mark these. So it became a bit of a nightmare. So I think the answer is I'll try to mark these and then post them the next day. So you can, uh, you can take screenshots if you want to, or maybe in the afternoon, late in the afternoon uh, when I'm when I'm done for sure, and then I won't, um, I, I don't get my system locked up while I'm trying to do this. Um, the inventory number today, <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> the inventory um, was better than expected, and you would think, a normal person would think, that perhaps the market would go up from that, and it did not. That's why we tell you over and over and over again what time the inventory is coming, because you don't want to take, don't make an assumption. Don't make an assumption unless you are absolutely sure. It's almost always not going to work out well for you. This was 11 o'clock on this IZSS, and you can see it chopped for a minute, and then it acted like it wanted to go up, and then it just whooshed down. Went right down here, went up, and went down again, and then it chopped. So inventory is, I'm very leery of trying to trade inventory, unless I have a super good assumption, and normally I don't. So normally I just... I'm I'm very leery of getting on that bus right in there. There was something we've had some questions about this chart that I trade uh, crude oil with, so I'll go over this. I'll try to help people who want to learn this. This is not a newbie thing. By all means, do not try to learn this until you've got your bread and butter uh, trades on either IZSS or uh, I. Uh, Lori sees or whatever it is that you do because this takes this this isn't all that simple I realize now I didn't know that in the beginning but I started doing this before we had all this new stuff so this is way back history and I was trying to figure out how to trade crude oil and I just couldn't seem to get the hang of trading anything so one thing I did was I put these black bars on here to take candles away from me I had to take them away from myself because I was trying to read candle patterns which do not work with diagnostic candles absolutely will not work so once I got past that then I started trying to figure out I mean back then all we ever had was um, apex the the letters and then we got mvp so i want to point something out this morning because this was a great trade good time uh right here about eight o'clock is this e with a trend catcher confirmation on this 
Um, but look at what has happened here. This is so cool. When this happens, I can promise you that bus driver is going to take you to the bank. When you get the same color um, E, whoops, and the the MVP arrow all in a in a place right here all coming all at once you have got a trade and i don't care if it's green or if it's uh red but when you see the e and the the mvp arrow at the i mean real close to the same time i think it was this is like one bar uh difference you can take this trade anywhere in here so then you have to ask yourself okay well i i see that but how, how do i know where it's going to go because remember you need to plan your trade plan, that took me a very long time to get that plan your trade and then get picky about your entries and then be patient with your trade in order to get paid it's all about ping, lots and lots of ping. So if you take this and you have no clue where it's going to go, your first best guess, if it was just a deviation, you don't have enough room in here to make this trade worth your while. But because you got this really strong signal right here, this is a super strong signal, then for me, I can tell you exactly where it's going it is going to the top of the range channel crude oil does this over and over and over again the bus drivers love settlement and they love range channel tops and bottoms so if you were going down with this kind of a signal with the red wherever you got in um look for the bottom of the range channel so that was a nice 50 tick trade right there and it's real easy this unfortunately the downside of this trade is it doesn't happen very often but i'm i'm trying to get you to put that on your radar because when it does happen you definitely have a nice trade and sometimes they'll go for 50 60 70 ticks off of this signal right here and if it repeats itself later in the day take it again a really good one um, so I think uh, tomorrow we have a lot of significant news at 830 so be sure you're paying attention at 830 and don't step out in front of a bus right at the stroke of 830 we have a lot of um, news coming from Canada tomorrow there are Canadian economic numbers they tend to uh, have an effect on crude oil because the commodity currency for uh, crude oil is a Canadian dollar. And I hope everybody has got, if you are watching crude oil, you are on the, the April contract, crude oil contracts um crude oil contracts roll every month and we try to uh make sure that you're aware of that so let me go back over there's some questions here about um this do we have the c's yes peter the c set up step by step is in lori made a post and it has a whole bunch of charts in there so you can um you can look in the forum and get her post they are really good because i find them um they 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 are easy for me at least i haven't quite wrapped my head around some of this newer stuff but i love those and the the uh, rules and everything she's done a great job with that um crude oil costs a little bit yes it does it it 
carries a $1,000 uh, in futures. Now, I'm talking about in futures. But you can do this off the NADEX also. You can do this with spreads. Um, margin on crude oil, if you have Ninja or AMP brokerage, or I'm not sure about some of the others, is a $1,000 contract. And that's the day margin. So you do not want to hold a contract past 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I don't know why anybody would trade it at that time of day, but just I'm just saying. Um, the signal was at, um, this happened right about 8 o'clock. It was between 8 and 8.10. 8 o'clock can sometimes put up some good trades on crude oil, and so can 7 o'clock. If you're loaded and ready, this this last entry right here started at 4.15 in the morning. So, you know, realistically, I don't know how many of us are going to be operational at 4 o'clock in the morning. After that, be very careful. Uh, you know, sometimes at 6, 637, you can scalp some of this. But you're not likely to get a really good trend until about 8 o'clock. So I'm going to, uh, I've got a, the chart I trade off of, and I'm going to post the, the screenshots. I'll try and do that every day so you can see what I'm doing. And then I get asked all the time, does this work with other markets? I have no idea. I don't trade other markets with this chart. I just got, I've tried trading crude oil off of C's and I'm still, uh, I have it up and I'm trying to get a correlation on that. And I just, for me, I just see this one better. It's, it's easier for me. I would also caution you, if you are trying to learn how to do this, be sure you do it in demo. Do not take every trend catcher entry. You need something else to tell you that's a good entry. Trend catcher puts up entries on Lori's elevators, mm -hmm. and I don't care what the, what the trend catcher arrows tell me. I could care less. I, because I'm making a, an entry decision frankly, off of this reversal bar, like right here. And it's just so nice when Trend Catcher says, tells me, yes, that's a good idea. You're right. Okay, fine. This tall bar right here, when it puts in a real tall one, it's either going to shoot on up or it's going to reverse off of these, these tall bars. Here's one that's tall and it just went on up. So I like to wait for that Trend Catcher. Um, to confirm that right there. Anyway, um, that's about it. Just at 8.30 tomorrow morning, and yes, Peter, everything at Apex fun functions on Eastern time. You need to have your, uh, you need to have your uh, computer set or your charts aren't going to turn up with the right times on them. So everybody has a trading computer dedicated to Eastern time because your charts all have to be, uh, if you're going to use the, any of these systems and be on the same page with everybody else in this room, which we now have, uh, uh, there's over 80 people in here right now. So we're all on Eastern time. And the yellow um, the yellow trend catcher, yeah. What I did was um, I went into trend catcher and I made everything else um, transparent, just the confirmed entries. That's all I want on trend catcher. Some people like all the the arrows and the all the other stuff on there. All that does is get in my way. It just gets in my way, so I don't have it on there. But these little lines are con the. Um, I'll show you here in the indicators. Um, trend catcher. See, I've got, I've got all these 
turn to transparent. The color for live confirmation is yellow. It's long or short. I don't want any more colors making my eyes jump around. And I can tell if I'm going up or down. I don't need Trend Catcher to tell me that. And if you follow Trend Catcher off of this chart for that, you're going to get into some trouble. It is a confirmation. Notice what it says. Color for live confirmation. So I, my number one go-to is the, the green or red E's, apexes. My number two go-to is the general uh, lay of the land here. You, you have to be, to use this, you have to be able to read the market a little bit, I guess. Uh, that's what people tell me. I don't know. It kind of looks easy to me, but um, and some of the markets are really the same trade. Yes, Kevin, you are absolutely right. Some of the markets really are the same trade. And I'm ask um, in general what causes the signal on CL uh, for your number one go-to. That's the Apex system. There, the the um, there's a whole video uh, training on how to use Apex because uh, back in the olden days, all we had was Apex and we used the uh, E's for entries. And the rule was three ticks above the E or five ticks above the P with a stop five ticks below the P and trailing stop was the um, the power lines and so I if you want to learn more about that you probably I don't know how it's all programmed and if that's what you're asking me how many tick things it takes to make it do whatever uh, that's a Daryl thing he's the uh, he's the math genius so I j I'm the picture person I want to see a picture show me a picture of what it's supposed to look like Um, so I think, did I get all the questions here? This is a good time to be asking questions if you want anything shown on, on the camera. So with that, um, just one last reminder to be real careful about 8.30 in the morning. And, um, I guess that's, that'll wrap this up. This has been my view from my world in Apex land, brought to you by Apex Investing. I'll see you tomorrow about noon. Thanks.